We're on. Yeah. Hello, cool. everybody. Are we on the... Mm -hmm. We're on. Cool. How do you make this thing corn? I'm not taxing. I don't know. It should pop up sooner or later. All right. There it is. There it is. No, that's... Danny, oh. man. How's it going, Danny? Hey, Danny. <laughs> Hi, Danny. We hope you're coming to Route 22. So we're here tonight to answer questions for you guys and to deliver information on the Route 22 Festival. Uh, this video is going to cover several topics. It may be a little lengthy. We hope you can hang in there for it. Um, I guess we'll just get started. If they have questions, tell them that they can. Yeah, do. please uh, either post your questions live right now, or if you see this video after it's made, you can send them directly. Um, we'll start with introductions. This is Jason Feathers. Good evening. This is Todd McKeon. How's it going? And I'm Mike Howe. Uh, you guys know me because I am an attention whore. So, let's begin. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. All right, there we are. Let's meet you. Go ahead and meet your phone. All right, so, the first topic is going to be day passes. Um, we're going to offer $20 day passes for Friday night, the metal night. That's going to be $10 off the pre-sale ticket price for the whole weekend. Saturday day passes, you have to buy them now. Uh, they're $30 pre-sale ticket. If you show up at the gate on Saturday, it should still be $30, right? Yeah. yeah. You'll be separated in parking. And, yeah, yeah. And all that good stuff. It'll be $30. But your best bet is to just find a pre-sale ticket now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get your pre-sale ticket ahead of time, that'll cover you for Saturday. If you know you can only come for Saturday, get your pre-sale ticket. That'll make things a lot easier. And if you know any of the bands that are playing, most of the bands at this point have the tickets, and if not, by the end of the week, they'll Everybody's all have gonna the tickets. Have a ticket. You can get a ticket yeah. from any, any of the bands that are playing. Right. Right uh, or you can get them at Empor the Music Emporium, Route 22 Beverage, Lincoln Caverns, Johnny's Bar, uh, CJ's, CJ's Music, and any other places? Um, or any of us. Yeah. Just call us. Anybody yeah. here? Yeah. If you want to know call how to get me. tickets and you can't find anybody and you don't know where to get them, just post on the uh, Facebook page and we will find you. We will get you a ticket. Cool. So there are tickets out there. You just got to find them. Uh, so, yeah, that was our topic on day passes. Like I said, Friday is going to be 20 bucks. Um it is, you know, there's less music. Friday only runs from 5 till 2 in the morning, so. And we're not going to throw you out. Like, if you're drinking, nobody's going to put you on the highway. You're going to sleep there. Right. Um, be that, that covers you for the night. You know, we'll ask you to leave maybe Saturday around noon when the music starts again. But, There'll be a special parking lot. Yeah. Provided. You'll be in a special parking place. Right. And you'll be good to go for all of Friday for $20. So that's cool. That'll be a good good thing to do. Pets? Don't bring them. No pets. I brought mine one year and it didn't work out. So it didn't work out. <laughs> um, and she's a good dog. Yeah, it's uh, these guys both have dogs. It's not that we hate dogs. It's we love that, dogs. It's uh, that the insurance really doesn't allow us to have pets. So The insurance doesn't love dogs. The insurance company does not love dogs. They don't love anybody. Um, <laughs> insurance companies are inherently evil. So Right. We should cover that. But we are That'll insured. be another video. But we, yeah, are, we are, insured. are insured. So that's a good thing to, you know, everybody yeah. to know. Family camping. Well, let's do all ages first. All um, ages. It is an all ages uh, event. Um, anybody who is under 21, though, should be and actually must be accompanied by somebody who is over 21. Um, we don't want anybody getting in trouble. We don't want to see anybody getting in trouble. Um, we would just sort of prefer that if you're under 21 that you have somebody accompany you uh, who can sort of, you know, be your guide. Because we're not responsible. Uh, and in that same sentence, uh, we don't furnish alcohol at this event. No. So, I mean, kids aren't going to come in. They're not going to get alcohol from either me or anybody. No. You know, that's related to this event. There is no... We don't provide alcohol. It's strictly BYOB. And that is why minors are accompanied with an adult. Um, if I have a carload of teenagers come in, 
I can't keep track of them on this campground. So they've got to be with somebody that can take that's of responsible. age that's of age that can be responsible for them. Right. Um, it's a really great show, but we are not babysitters. Right. So, which segues very comfortably into the whole family camping situation. Family camping. I have a lot of people. They ask, "Is this a good place for kids?" And I'm going to hand this question to Jason because he brings his kids. He is a father. He's been there every year since the first year. It actually is a very good place to bring your kids. I bring my kids every year, and they have a blast. Um, it's a safe environment. I've never seen anybody actually get hurt. Um, but the one thing to just, you know, uh, the caveat to that is um, keep an eye on your kids. You are responsible for your kids. Um, it is a party environment as well, so you know, keep track of where your kids are. And hey, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, <laughs> Brian. Keep track of, what of your kids, and you know, keep an eye on what they're doing. If you are a responsible parent, your children will have a great time. If you are an irresponsible parent, you know, your kids will have a great time. Your kids will still <laughs> have a great. Kids will have a better time. But uh, no, seriously, I, I take my kids every year, and uh, there's never been an incident. Just keep track of your kids. Be a responsible parent. Uh, they'll have a blast, actually. They'll be exposed to some arts. They'll be exposed to some great music. You know, they may meet a friend. And, you know, it is a, it's, a, it's a nice environment. They can play during the day. Um, there's paths. There's, yeah. You know, they, right. can, they can walk around in the woods. There's... It's Lincoln Caverns. Yeah. You know, you can I go mean, to Lincoln Caverns. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a kid-friendly environment. Um, right. Ah, hi, Kim. Uh, as far as the camping arrangements go while we're on that subject, uh, I try and put families like closer to one end of the campground and I try to keep all the partiers in another area. So, you know, when right. you and your kids are trying to sleep at night, you're definitely going to be in a quieter place. And, and that's by your choice. I will suggest, you know, where you should camp away from, you know, people that are yeah. There are partying. certain areas that are more adult certain areas that are more kid right so yeah i mean and we try to keep that separate and peaceful and it works out pretty well it's always worked out pretty well yeah we put the kids to bed you know and yeah. have a good time and then we can still hang out and do our thing it's a good time so yeah that's uh your kids are always welcome oh that's a good point too i didn't write that down um you don't have to buy a ticket for anybody under the age of 17. Right. Yeah, they're, they get in free. I mean, I don't, I could say 12, but I can't prove if your kid is 11, 12, 13, or 14, so it really doesn't matter. Like, as long as they're not adults, they don't need a ticket. So keep that one in mind, too. Right. So don't let that prohibit you from coming. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to cost you anything to bring your kids. Um, Conditions. While we're on that, that's good to know for families, the camping conditions. Um, it is rustic camping. There's no running water. Uh, and there's no real electricity. If you have a big you know, RV or camper, we can't plug you in. No. You're not gonna have air conditioning. It's not for, a traditional camp ground with sites you can pull in or anything like that. True. Um, each site, if you have a wooded site, it does have a fire ring. Uh, there's picnic tables. You know, there's. It's a big campground, and there's, I'd say what, 35 camping sites. Maybe but they're more really than that. big. I mean, you can yeah, get multiple get tents on each yeah, site. More so, than that, I would say. Yeah, Quite a lot of room. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of space. Trust me. Yeah. They do have fire rings. Um, if you're in an RV and you want to do field camping, you can bring your own fire ring. There's right. really no, there's no rules about stuff like that. Um, I think as long as they know there's no running water and no electricity. Yeah, there's no running water, no electricity. Right. So you're going to be using porta potties. Right. A lot of people they will drive to Racetown Lake to get a shower on Saturday morning. Um, right. A lot of people just jump in the river. So. Right. Yeah, um, and some people don't. The event, will, will <laughs> barring any kind of like natural disaster, the event will be held rain or shine. So, you know, that's something, you know, just to know we're going to be there. It is a rain or shine event, um, which is nerve wracking. Okay. <laughs> if it rains a lot, yeah. 
But yeah, we're gonna be there regardless. So I'll tell you this: it's my favorite weekend of the entire year. I will say that unless if the Weather Channel <laughs> says the gates of hell are about to open up, we'll be I there. may cancel the event. I don't, I don't know. know. The I think, gates of hell. I think the gates of hell are going to open up. That's, 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 where that's exactly where I want to be. That's, where that's, where I wanna, that's when these guys. I want to die. That's where I want to be. Right? Right. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, you, there's nowhere else you'd rather be if the gates of hell are open. Up. That's true. So if you hear rumors of the gates of hell, come come, come to Huntington. Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> there may be a, redu- a uh, reduction on ticket prices. There you go. Yeah, we might let you in just if the gates of hell space. actually open up. Yeah. I'm glad we covered Gates of Hell. It'll be that re- was really important. It'll be a reduced day pass. It'll be a reduced price. If yeah, if that happens. Tracy says, nice backdrop of great beers. <laughs> we have a lot of beers. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. Do we have any uh, actual questions that anybody's feeling? We are here to answer your questions. Right. If so. you have questions, post them because we'll answer them right now, live, while in real wait. time. While you wait. There may be a lag, though, so we'll get to it. We'll get them. We're going to get them. Bring them now. Yes. Bring Ask us questions. Right. This is a Q&A. Yes. Bring me all of your cares and concerns. Questions and assholes. That's what I call it. <laughs> well, You're the question. I don't know. I, what, oh, I don't know damn. what that makes Why am I always an asshole? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so to touch again, this is a BYOB event. Uh a lot of great Which is bands. a hell of a deal considering, you know, it's a $30 ticket for, what, two nights of camping, two days of music. Right, right. And you're not spending, I don't know, I was just at the, what is it now, the Key Bank Pavilion, and they're $18 a beer. So you right. don't have to do right. that. Yeah. So you for the price right. of two beers, <laughs> yeah, literally, for, for, yeah, for the price of two beers. For the price of two beers, you get a whole weekend entertainment. And, you, yeah, you can just bring whatever you want. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of music. There's a lot of, you know, there's going to be art and there's, you know. A lot of different there's a lot kinds of, of music. There's a lot of stuff to do there. You know? um, we are going to have a couple in-house artists. Oh, and by the way, this is an open invitation to any artist. If you want to do an installation or, right. you know, come out and paint right. or show your work, whatever you want to do, um, you'll have to, you can either PM me directly at Michael C. Hawk or you can contact the Route 22 page. But yeah, we're going to have installation artists out there, a lot of light artists. We do a light-up path every year through the woods. Um, what's that? Film? There'll yeah, be a film festival. Dave Malika and Bethany Housel will be showing, uh, what do you call that? Film. Films. <laughs> Not sure exactly. You're going to have to come to find out exactly They're, uh, what they independent, filmed. Independent films. Right, right. Uh, stuff that they made on their own. We're going to do that on Saturday night after the percolators finish up. So that'll be sometime Saturday around 1 in the morning, 1.30. Yeah. So that'll and be who, cool. And who knows who else is going to contact And again, us. this is also a call to original artists and right. people, anybody else that has a crazy idea. I forgot to tell you guys, I think me and Jamie Dick are going to build about a 10, no, it's going to be about 20 foot wide vulture to put on top of the stage. That's beautiful. And then we're going to light it on fire on Saturday. That's so awesome. So it's going to be a good time. Is she going to knit it? She is going to paper mache. Oh, okay. <laughs> so thank you, Jamie, for your hard paper mache work. <laughs> Legendary paper mache skills. And we'll all get to see a giant bird catch on fire. So. Be so Mike, cool. What's the best Pantera album? <laughs> is that a question? Yes, it is. <laughs> is no, is that a question? I think it's we all know it's the, the I, Great Southern Train. Uh, thank you. I was gonna. I was hoping. You, yes, obviously. It has to be. There's. Yeah, well, that's what it is. It doesn't matter. That's, thank you for the non-question. Thanks was for that from, right. Who was that from? My sister. Jeff Colbert. Oh, my brother-in-law. <laughs> I think we all know Jeff. Yeah. Thanks for the that's, question. Great yeah. question. Keep you already knew the answer. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a differing opinion, I mean. We can bring talk it. about that later. Yeah, bring it. Right now is the right can here. just comment your favorite album, and then the trolls can get you, Jeff Colbert. Far <laughs> <Yes. laughs> beyond driven. No, that's not, no, it's great Southern Trent. It's that's the great it. Southern well, Trent. Jeff may feel that it's far beyond I, driven. I, I, I'm sure he's an awesome dude, but he's wrong, though. Oh, absolutely. I think Jeff likes <laughs> the great Southern No question. I hope so. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think that, I think that's, I think he likes that now. Okay. That's so where we stop at. We just stopped at BYOB. Right. You're going to save a pile of money by not buying booze from a bunch of assholes. Right, right. <laughs> You could buy your booze here and take it there. Yeah, uh, we are coming to you live from the Williamsburg Beverage. We do sell beer here. You can buy or hear beer on your way to the campground. So yes. And there's lots of it. And there's some we good have, selections. It's, we have a lot. We can get into that later. Right. <laughs> what kinds of beers we have. If you'd like, we can get a milk film of all of the beer later. Yeah, sure. But you can stop here. Williamsburg Beverage on your way to Route 22. Has anybody other to than uh, you're gonna have Pantera tickets question, is nope. anybody going to... Yes, have tickets. tickets are still on sale Yeah, here stop right here, now. get the beer, get your ticket. If it's yeah. Saturday, stop here, buy your day pass here and your beer. Right. How about that? Yeah. Right. Not a bad deal. No. No. That's the way to do it. Yeah. That's how you do it. Yes. Todd, if you need another beer, go ahead. Are there any, I will are there any non-Pantera sure. related No questions. Pantera, non-Pantera related. Okay. That was they a great kind of really question, Jeff. Answered. Thank you. Yeah, but it was pretty obvious, though. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like a... Hands down. Mob. Absolutely. Kind of, yeah, it's quite bad. Um, I guess the next question is, how long does the music go? How many bands are there? Right. Uh, this year we've and got... This oh. is what you're getting for your ticket. I mean, think about this. When's yep. the last time you got to enjoy this many bands for this much money? This is, um, there are 18 bands. I'm not going to list them all because I can't do that right now off the top of my head. But trust me, they're all great bands. Uh, music will start Friday at 6 p.m. It will end Friday probably around 2.30, 3 in the morning. Uh, there'll be six bands Friday night. Friday night is a heavy metal night. So Jeff Colbert asked the Pantera question. That's your night. Right. That's when the metal's going to hit. Right. Um, it's a hell of a way to open up the show, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, yeah, it really. It kicks Friday night's well. a great night. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, the music will start again around twelve. We're gonna open up with three, three solo acoustic players. Uh, the Backyard Rockers are gonna be there with Jim Price. Um, on the brink. Well, on the brink, we're gonna cover so blues, blues. We're gonna cover jazz. Grass. Uh, yeah. Mama Corn's going to be there. They'll be bringing their bluegrass. Crooked Lion will be playing bluegrass. That's a really good thing about this festival. I mean... No matter what you like, there's something for you. Everybody kind of knows that Friday night is metal night, and that's certainly, you know, that's great, and I love that, but it's kind of cool that Saturday it opens up a little bit, and there are, you know, there's a plethora of diverse, you know, bands playing. There's something for everyone. I really enjoy putting together a multi-genre show. Um... Yeah, I think yeah. it's a good time. I, I can speak time. from experience where if I spend two days or three days listening to bluegrass, I want to hear anything but bluegrass <laughs> right. at that point. And that even goes for metal. If I spend two or three days listening to nothing but metal bands, right. I want to hear bluegrass or yeah. something There's else. There's something for like, everyone. Yeah. There really so is. It is, it is a really it nice your, mix. It keeps your attention. Yeah, yes. so it keeps your yes. attention. Every performer brings their own thing. We're going to have Sharky there. Sharky's going to be there. Elvis, Elvis Chicken will Elvis be there. Chicken. <laughs> Elvis Chicken will be playing on Saturday. He is... I mean, his professionalism is unmatched. You will not see a it's performer like Sharky it's or Elvis Chicken anywhere else. It's the most professional else. chicken you will ever see. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to be in Shark Mode. The oh. man is just... Oh, he's not... Yeah. Oh, We're, he's doing one thing, we are going to need a bigger boat, that's for sure. Yeah. So Sharky and Elvis Chicken, I think, will both be there. Um, I was going to say something else about the, the multi-genre music. I had an idea there, but it's gone. You'll have to wait for the next video. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, I feel like I guess we covered it. Send us your questions. Yeah, please. We are here to answer questions. We're, we're having a beer. We're chilling out. Elvis Chicken rules. There we go. You are right. We do have a fan. We've got one guy. He'll be there. Elvis Chicken will be there. Okay. And at some point, we may uh, be on PA Central, Central PA Live. Live. May do a live report from there. From there. That's, from the festival. Is that what I'm catching? Yes, it is. 
I just got a little notification that uh, Central PA Live advertising. They may mention doing a live report from there. So that could be fantastic. Hey, Alex Hazard yeah, may be out there. On television. Yeah. You might, yeah. You too can be on you. television. Thank you very just much. Just coming from standing in front of the stage. That, uh, information. There Thanks for working on that. We're a great group of people. Uh, what else do we have happening here? If you have any questions at all, just let us know. I mean, we've got to uh, run time. We've got a month to go. So if you've got any questions, any anything has any any hesitations, let us know. Actually, we'll Todd, while you're uh, while you're talking yeah. there, it seems to me you can bring up about the business. Yes. Um, what we're looking for oh. with the programs. Uh, this year we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to have an event guy. Uh, in the event guy, we're going to have a little bit of uh, biological. Inf- Biographical information about each of the bands. Biological information. Biological information. There will be no. There's no nothing. samples. <laughs> nothing like that. Yeah. Biographical information about each of the bands, and uh, there are, in addition to that, uh, some sponsorship opportunities for local businesses who may want to participate in this event and may want to show some support for the local arts, uh, including the music, uh, the film, any other visual art that may be presented during the weekend. So if you are in any of the businesses in the area and you may want to advertise uh, be a part of it, yeah. 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 get in touch with me. I'm Todd, Todd McEwen, M-C-K-E-O-N-E. You can look me up on Facebook. You can find me through Mike or Jason mm-hmm. or through the Route 22 page. You, uh, I think what we're looking at is about a 30-page 30, 30 program. Um, um, it's going to feature biographies right. of each band. And it's going to be, you know, it's going to have your business advertisements on other pages. Um, we can put coupons in this program. We can put stickers, uh, any, anything that your business wants to provide or wants us, you know, to, to put in this program. I think we can pretty much And do. we're not trying to make a ton of money on this program, God. What we're no. trying to do cover costs. is we're trying to cover costs of the event. And so the pricing for advertising in this event, God, is dirt cheap. So if you do have a business, big or small, this is a great opportunity well, to advertise it's a two, for not a lot of money. It's a two-fold opportunity. You'll be, you'll be helping out a great cause. You'll be helping out the arts. And secondly, you'll be getting some really good advertising for your business. Um, I know that just the number of musicians involved, if just those guys get exposed to your business, you know, your residuals could be very, very good just from that. So... You know, it's a really good thing on multiple levels. And we're not trying to make a killing. We're just trying to cover the cost. Okay, so I got a message, and all of it, all that it says is Clockwick Panda. I'm not exactly sure exactly what that is. Mike, you might have Actually, a better idea what that is. Well, Clock Dick Panda. No, no, Clock Ike Clock Panda. Ike Panda. I think it's a typographical error. It is. So uh, there's a band they'll be playing every year. I'm actually the guitarist in this band, and last year we had a uh, panda. A, I can't say his uh, full title, but yes, the panda bear went around throughout the crowd, um, and he had a great time. Everybody really liked our panda. Is the panda going to be there this year? The panda? I think. Maybe that's what he's implying. I think it's we might cage get to see the match between Brubaker, the panda bear so. and the Elvis chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, that could be true too. <laughs> Three-way match with Sharky. We could have a furry festival. While we're <laughs> there you go. That throw some squirrels in there. Some extra people. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. We should have thought about this before we turned the camera on. Oh, um, here's here's something to think about. Food also. Food vendors. Food vendors. Mm. There yes. will be food there. Um, right now. As far as I know, nothing's changed. We're going to have um, Shraff. Is his right. name Kevin Shraff? Kevin Shraff. Yeah, it's going to be Shraff vending. He's going to be bringing his big food truck out, and I'm going to have Rexy's dogs. I've heard a lot of good things about Rexy's dogs. Oh my God, that's they're a, awesome. Yeah, that's a newer business. Dogs coming I'm back. telling you now, Rexy's dogs. I don't like hot dogs a lot. It's the best hot dog I've ever had in my life. There so they go. came under it's strong right recommendation. Too. And these are local businesses we're supporting. Oh, yes, there will be other vendors there. Um, I've got at least 10 craft vendors lined up right now. They'll be selling everything from tie-dye to oils and oh, what else? I mean... Will the bracelet people be back? 
I, I've been talking to Scott. Scott Hand might be in this year. Okay. The leather, okay. the leather worker. That was um, really cool stuff. I'm gonna have face painting out there again. That ties into you know the family Bring camping. Bring your kids. I will have a face painter. I mean, I'm trying to just. I'm not trying to have ten of the same exact vendors. So these people all do a wide variety of things. Keith Rain's gonna be there. Oh, awesome. Uh, who was he the former singer of? Well, I think. I can't, I can't remember right now. Keith Rain. Yeah. He used to play for a variety of things. Like a variety. Yeah. So yeah, he's a you know a local music guy. And he's <laughs> gonna be, he's actually gonna be able to make you a T-shirt on the site. Oh, is that what he's bringing? Yep. He's That's gonna good. be able to yeah. to make T-shirts right there on the yeah. ground. Keith, and he'll be able to edge glass. Do all Keith did his stuff. tours with multiple bands. Yeah. He's a very talented individual actually. And he can record you as well. Yes, I do. I do recall he was recording. You should just come out just because he'll hook you up with some level of talent on whatever you need. There you go. So, yeah, right. we're going to have like eight or nine vendors or ten vendors. Uh, they will all be selling Artists. different stuff. Uh, yeah, again, I'm going to have uh, Anthony Bookhammer will be out there. He's going to be doing quite a large installation this year. Last year, I don't know how many of you were there before, how many of you this will be your first year. But we kind of did a Stonehenge thing last year. That was pretty cool. But this year, he's going to bring that back. And he's also making these, like, tentacle things that are going to come out of the earth. Cthulhu's coming. Nice. Yeah, That's it'll, awesome. it's going to be very weird. They're very phallic. So if you weird. like phallic artwork, <laughs> right. phallic you're going to want to see these things. I mean, they're over 10 feet tall, and they're very phallic. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, then they light up. I'm in. So they're glowing. And yeah. they're very tentacly. Yeah. So, yeah. We're going to have uh, some installation the, art. The great Chad Whitaker has been there since the first year. Another one. I haven't. Dis He's keeping his a secret. We'll put it that way. Ooh. Yeah. Last year it was like uh, he did these black light strings. Yeah, you know, where he yeah. just strung all the trees together with this crazy wire, and uh, he's he's keeping it pretty pretty hush hush. But he always does something, you know, something to look at. We'll That's cool. That way. Yeah. So you will have visual as well as audio oh, yeah. stimulation. Yep. Yeah. Again, twenty foot bird on stage, twenty foot bird on fire, <laughs> and guess what? You're not allowed to bring fireworks to the show. That's I know true. they've been legalized in Pennsylvania, but Giant Bird may or may not be filled with may or may not fall be. fireworks. Right. I mean, completely controlled and safe, of course. Right, completely. We are Absolutely. insured. We are insured. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have fire, we're going to have music, we're going to have art, we're going to have a great time. Fire, art, music. Phallic, great old one tentacles rising from the earth. BYOB, man. Flaming birds, BYOB. Um, Hopefully no spillage. Abuse. Um, one thing I do want to say is the quality of folks that come to this festival. That's a really good point. Um, has always been really high. Um, you know, I've never seen anybody go to anybody's campsite and leave needy. Um, you know, if you need, if you're parched and you need a water, if you need a place to sit down, if you need a sandwich, um, there's always a plethora of folks there that are going to help you out. It's, uh, you know, the quality of individuals who seem to attend this event, they're of a very high caliber, and uh, you don't have to worry about too many things in that regard. We've been doing this show for six years. Yeah. I've never seen a fist fight. Right. Um, no, no fights. There's, it's just a, no, just no. a good time for everybody yeah. that comes. People just want to come. They want to have a good time. They want to hang out. They want to make friends. They want to hear good music. You know. And I get to talk to people that I don't get to talk to all of the time. Right. And that's it's, another thing. It's community. Yeah. It's a real community type. It of is. A it's field. a community event. You know. That's something that might not come across in the advertising or whatever. But you know, having taken part in it every year, it's a community event. You know. If you come, if this is your first year, you'll want to come next year because Absolutely. you will be amazed at the friendships you make, at the people you meet. You know, if, if we see yeah. you this year, we will see you next year. Exactly. 
I think that is something to be said. Um, I mean, yeah, the ticket price is low. This this is not the biggest event that happens in Pennsylvania. You know, is it the biggest event that happens in Huntington? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe in Huntington. Probably not Mayfest. I think Linda D. Arman has me right, being, right, you know, right, with right, Mayfest. Right. But here's the thing. You're going to come out there and you're actually going to get to know people. Um, right. Right. You're you're not just going to be surrounded by fucking total uh, strangers. Right, right. You're going to interact with people. You're going to meet people. You're going to have a good time. Yeah. Like, if you lose something, times. people are going to find you. People are going to help it. you. Yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I, you know, that's, I, I can't tell you the number of times I've seen that happen on Sunday morning. Like, oh my God, we found this backpack we found the cell phone you yeah know? we're gonna find it you know it's the, that's the quality of there's always a lost and found pile like right, people right. aren't there to take your stuff where no, you know no, it's no. kelly denunzio how's it going hey kayla kelly Den- or kayla denunzio is watching kayla kayla that's yeah. what i said oh i didn't i misheard you musicians ears is that, <laughs> is that the right name kayla. yeah yeah it's kayla yeah that's kayla Kayla, are you coming? That's the big yeah, question. Yeah. We're are waiting you gonna be to hear there? your response. We're waiting to hear from you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a really nice crowd. Um, again, it it's not the biggest thing you're going to walk into, but I would rather be with 500 nice people than 10,000 people I have no clue who they are. No, exactly. And you're going to you're gonna leave knowing a lot more people than you yeah, did before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So basically, to make a long story short, Route 22, September 7th, 8th, 9th, that weekend. Oh, yeah, those are the, the days. Weekend, yeah, those it's are the weekend days. after That's Labor Day. Really if you want to have a really, really, That's a really super good great point. time with good people that make good music and have right. a lot of fun. Right. There's music come for everyone. See it's it's going to be a good time. Trust me. It's my favorite weekend of the year. Six years running. Hi, Ryan. It is, honestly, I can say this. Uh, Unabashedly and completely honestly, it's my favorite weekend of the year. It's Kayla says weekend. yes, she will be there. Awesome! Everybody, Kayla is going to be and, there. And Kayla will be there. So right there, that's all you need to know. Yeah. That's enough for me. That's enough for me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I start planning this in December with the hopes that Kayla's going to come. And right. it looks like she's going to be there. And now so. that we know that she's going to be there, I mean, we can it's continue on, with the festival. That's good. Nobody's really asking questions. I No, yeah. is it that you don't have questions? Or is it that we've answered all the questions that you had? I will say this. We must be doing an RHL because we're, we're getting... Somebody proposi- wants us back getting proposition. Week. Somebody wants us to come back on a weekly basis and do ourselves a little broadcast. Ah. We may do that. Williamsburg Beverage. When will the grounds open you on... give me a couple oh, of beers. Here's a, that's an actual out. question. Here's an actual uh, practical question. Wow. What? what? We got one. When will the grounds open on Friday and close on Sunday? That's a great question. That's a fantastic question. That's, Friday, yeah. you can pull that camper in at 9 in the morning. You can show up as early as you like. Camping spots, they're kind of first come, first serve. Right. Um, mm-hmm. There's not a whole lot I can do about where people set up. Um, again, I do try to separate families out from yeah. party crowds, stuff like that. If you but have yeah, the Friday day pass, you will be separated. Yeah, you'll be parked. Or yeah, at least parked in yeah. a certain place. If you're there with a day pass, you will be parked in a certain or a different area. Outside but, the camping park. Yeah. But you'll still be on the ground located. But um, yeah, as far as setup goes, you can show up Friday nine ten in the morning. I or somebody else will be there. I'll so probably be there all I'll day. I'll probably be there pretty early that day. If you want to get started early on Friday, that's fine. Um, what about closing Sunday? And on Sunday. And Sundays. Yeah. I've had people there. If you decide to stay Sunday night, if you want to stay there till Monday, you will have to go to the Lincoln Campgrounds office and hand them like, I think it's fifteen dollars a night or something yeah. after it's out of my hands. I'm but usually there. I don't till, throw anybody out. Um, I know we're usually there till five or six on Sunday, yeah. tearing down. Yeah. Yeah. There's no nobody's running it's around. It's pretty relaxed. Yeah. It's just Sunday's kind of a day to just. You wake up, you do your thing, you tear down, yeah. you can leave as early or as late as you want. I mean, right. I've had down. the entire campground cleaned up, had my gear packed, and I've, you know, there were still 
15 people sitting around a campfire enjoying their like afternoon lunch. So right. there's no right. time to leave on Sunday. We Sunday do, s'mores at 3 p.m. We do ask that you respect the campgrounds. Um, yeah. Yeah, clean know, up after yourselves. Clean a up after bit, yourselves. If you can, please. That prevents yes. us from having to do it for you. Yeah, yeah there's know, nothing. There's nothing worse than on Sunday getting up and seeing a trash pile and having to work all Which day. Which has not been a major. It's not really been. been it's been not been been issue. Yeah. Are pretty respectful. Most people there. are pretty Absolutely. respectful about it. Absolutely. Just clean up your garbage. Right. Right. It's, yeah. Pretty much everybody does that. So. Yeah. Just fall in line. Yeah, you don't want to be the dirty bird. <laughs> so yeah, you can get there, as <laughs> Jason. The if you'd like bird. another beer, I see you're a little low on fuel. Okay. Um. Yeah, you can get there as early as you like on Friday, and you can pretty much leave whenever you like on Sunday. Oh, yeah, there's a good comment from Jeff. Uh, as far as signage to know where to turn? Yes. Uh, the turn is, if you're coming from Altoona, it is a left-hand turn right before, it's directly before you get to the Lincoln Caverns. Office. Official Lincoln, Lincoln Caverns. And it's hard to see unless there's a sign out. But there, we will have signage. there will be. There will be. There will be plenty of signage. It'll show you exactly where to turn. If you're coming from Huntington, it's it's a right hand turn immediately after the main parking lot. It is not hard to find at all. Lincoln Caverns. So I'm it's, pretty it's sure the people at Lincoln Caverns will be working diligently. Uh, the road on the way up to the campground did get washed out a little bit. I oh, was in it? there the other day to Imagine. take a look around, yeah. and after the torrential rain we've had. It did get washed out, but it should be fixed up by the time of the event. Um, it's not a rough road. I've seen no. everything from, no. you know, Hyundai Elantra yeah. come up there to. Oh yeah, I've seen people in Suzuki. Area. We're not yeah, in the middle. So, yeah. Yeah, we're Honda not in the middle Accord of the forest. It, so. Like you're not mountain climbing. It yeah. is a dirt road, but you'll you'll be all you're right. Good. Just yeah. make the turn and follow it. You'll get there fine. Yep. Good questions, though. That's a very good question. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I would encourage any everybody send send your questions now because now is when we're doing this. Yep, we got about one more beer to go. And we're done right. answering this. Yeah, we're right. done with it. Yeah. Right, you took the last. Did I? Did you really? Really? Tracy and Todd took the last. Oh, oh I got, I got, big, I brown got ale. big brown ale. Big brown ale. I've got evil genius. How's that? Thing He's got some sort of Sierra Nevada. That is very good. Winona's got a big brown ale. We're going to do a spontaneous beer <laughs> advertisement. This has been brought to you by Winona's Big Brown Ale from Voodoo Brewing Company. If you guys would like to sponsor my event, well, I mean, if I you, mean, it's for sale. It's for sale. You <laughs> should come in here, BYOB. You should come in here, get some Winona, and go. Uh, the guys from Evil Genius, they're These very clever Maryland people. Guys. They're yeah. close by. Yeah, they're close by. We've got Sierra Nevada here. Right. And my IPA. favorite my favorite brewery in the world, Trogues. Trogues. Yeah. If you're interested, give me a call. Right. I'll, right. Uh, I'll put an advertisement. Yeah, and you can find guy. all these beers at the Williamsburg Beer Distributor. The master Unless, you know, it's uh, Todd. Well, you can't get Evil Genius anymore. I drank them all. The master brewer from Trogues is a good friend of mine. Happens to hail from Tyrone, Pennsylvania. You should actually, Timmy May, you should support that beer company. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Job ahead. Greatest beer in the world. Mm -hmm. Anyways, any other Kimberly questions? Kimberly D. D. Gray asks, is it true that Todd will be at the turn <laughs> full costume with a sign on so to no one can this. miss it? Um, What's wrong? What's I will yeah. not be standing on the right side Kim, of the road with Kim, a sign. The only, the only, <laughs> Kim, the only difference is this year he will be clothed. So I mean, uh, well, I know, year's hey, this I know is a family <laughs> friendly event. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Todd's, yeah. he has clothes. Right. He I, just doesn't always wear. Them. I do right. have clothes. Right. Right. I have a Doctor right. Smoke T-shirt. We that. made him put them on before we did the video. So yeah, yeah. Todd will be there, waiting for you. Yeah. As well, I've heard that some of the members of Doctor Smoke may show up and, and spend uh, some time. God, that'd be I cool. Yeah, God, I hope so. so. That'd be very Super cool, cool folks. Very good people. Have to say he can Hi, Doctor Smoke. I hope you're watching. <laughs> What's that? Uh, I love having friends that can look send I, little messages to look, us live. Brian Kennedy is one of my favorite people in the world. Hi, that, Brian. Buddy, I don't want to go on record and guarantee you Sharky's costume. That's Sharky's not giving that. <laughs> that's out. actually between you and Sharky. Yeah. I don't. I think Sharky is actually that. surgically sewed into that suit. He may have been actually. Yeah. He literally be is half shark, half yeah. guitar player. Yeah. Yeah. 
I don't think there was an in between. Kim asked us to shit up. I think she. Oh, she means shut up. up. She means shut up. (laughs) Hi, Brian. I think she's telling Brian to shut up. Oh, I got it. I got it. We got ourselves an internet squabble going on live. That's good. Yeah. Hey, those guys are going to be there this year. I sense like some stuff. Samara's going to be there this year. (laughs) And Samara, Samara, yeah, Samara will be there. Samara Brian, you're playing. playing. What I gather, Samara will Samara be there. Samara will be playing show. a whole lot of I mean, shows in the future after that for a little bit of time. So if you are a Samara I mean, fan, right, right there, come honestly, out and get a chance to see him. I'm there. Just a little bit of time. A, I'm there. I mean, even if I wasn't Samara's playing, I'd be there just to see Samara. You know, they're a great band. I was actually their frontman for about uh, ten a year. minutes. No, ten, a year. It was about a year. Up, oh, Kimberly says, "Are you teasing about the doctor? They won't be performing. No, no, no they will not uh, be uh, performing. The doctor will not be performing. <laughs> they won't. No, they we, will be making. We're really they down, down the focus down this, this year. We're really trying to stay local. Right. We want people to see the bands that are around here. Right. They're just making house calls. They're not. Um, yeah, they're just they're just hanging out. Yeah. 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 maybe we can get Steve to come up on stage for us. I would totally, I'm just going to put it on the record right now, if Steve Lahockey shows up. And Steve Lahockey, that's an open invite that's an for open you to invite. Steve, come play with Dr. Smoke. Would, no. <laughs> I mean, Stein. with Black Sun. You can you play, play with, with Dr. Smoke all you want. You want. Smoke if, you want if you want to come play with Black Sun, that's an open invitation, brother. Always. Any, time Any of you. Yeah, yeah. What Wait. do you guys Matt, think about uh, Matt, Matt Tahoski. I know how to say that name. Matt Tahoski, you can come. You say I call him Matt Thaluski. Mm. It's kind of like Haluski. It is. It is. But, but I'm not saying it properly. But I should stop Tuhoski. saying Tuhoski. it that way. Matt Tahoski. Mm. Yeah. But if you look at the spell it doesn't look like it. Right. So. Yeah, open invitation to any of those guys. You want to come join my band on stage, mm-hmm. you are welcome to. Where any our, of them. Here's a question. Where does our passion for the Route 22 Fest come from? I'll tell you this. Experience. Pers- Personal-wise, when Mike came... Out with this idea, I immediately, and I know I, all of us in Black Sun, we're immediately on board. If you, if you, this um, is an honest question. Like the, the real reason the Route Re- 22 show started was this: I was in a band called Assault Method, and this was six, six or seven Can years ago. Assault, so Assault Method. <laughs> Um, and here's the way it went down: was we would, I would go play shows with my guys in Assault Method, and we we would play with these guys. And Black Sun and a lot of other great metal bands. You know, we used to play with Falkwick. I wasn't always in that band. We would play with all these bands and we would play bars. And at the end of the night, we would all have to go home. Right. Nobody could sit and hammer a bottle 151 and get all (laughs) fucking wild and riley. So, like, I started this event for bands to get together. It's about band camaraderie and it's about, like, and fans too, like, there's not a big line between the fans and the bands yeah. as far as no. this goes. Yes. Um, yeah. That's what I like most. Just yeah, there's mingling no, there's, with mingling there's with no lines only, there. It's all if you're, yeah, let's it's say all the same this, family. let's say you're a kid that can play guitar really well, but you want to get a band started, this is the place you want to go. Like, That's this very is true. where you want yeah. to buy a ticket. That's you want to be here yeah. to meet people. Absolutely. You want to say hi to people. Like this show was built on the idea that we can all get together, have a good time, not have to worry about driving, right. not have to worry about getting arrested, yeah. and just really kind of let it, you know, I don't want to say let it hang out, because it's, people are pretty <laughs> well maintained. They are. Uh, you know. Except that one guy that slept on tortilla shells one night. I can't remember well, who that guy was. we know who you are, <laughs> and we know what you did behind the tent. Uh. But... <laughs> yeah, that was the original concept of the show is I wanted to put it together a festival where we could all play together, we could bring this community together, and we could um Mr. Whitaker. Mr. Whitaker I, dude, I haven't seen you for thirty fucking years. He should pardon the swearing. He should go a, a family festival. I haven't seen it's you for thirty years. I hope video. you're doing great, man. I would like to address uh, just just on the heels of what Mike was saying, my passion for this event comes from experience from doing it. When it first started, I obviously knew the people involved, wanted to be involved just because of that, knew what it was going to be about pretty much. But then I went and did it and, and realized that it was exactly what I thought it was going to be about, and it was about more. It's about camaraderie. It's about all the bands that you know and love getting together and having a good time and hanging out 
and being able to enjoy each other's company. And like Mike said, at the end of the night, you don't have to go home. You're already there. And um, you know what Mike was saying, if you are an artist looking to meet people, there is really no better event that I could even... I've seen bands born out of yes. Route yeah. 22. Yeah, I've, no seen, doubt, I've seen musicians find each other. I mean, this is, this is about everybody who loves music of all stripes and all sizes and all genres and musicians from all stripes, all sizes, all genres coming together and just really having a really good time together. Well, I mean, let's talk about UFO yeah. crash site for a second. Oh, now, geez. Um, who's their Those drummer? Guys. What's that? Mer- oh, Mer- Mer- Is it? I can't Don't ask it. me to pronounce it. I can't but Yeah, say you're, it. you're I mean, on the right kid, He started an equivalent. UFO crash site, started playing with some guys from Detroit, and he's just built and built and built and moved around. Right. Right. And I don't want to take credit for your work, but I mean, you <laughs> met true. a lot of people at this show. Yeah, so. it's actually been productive for people. Yeah, you know, like I mean, it's it's definitely an event yeah. for. I have guitar students. Either too. struggling musicians, met people or, there. Yeah, and you know, found other they musicians get to play with. Yeah. Um, you guys want to talk about newcomers for a minute? Who's going to be new on stage this year that hasn't been before? Talk about Mall. Mall. You will What's be Mall, Mall, Todd? Mall is the band that's going to kick off Route Twenty Two. And First although I'm in Black Friday. Sun and numerous other bands, such a small town horror show, uh, Mall is one of my other original projects. And these guys, man, I'm telling you right now. You can tell Mr. Kiefer that, or Kiefer that the Dixie Chicks aren't there. It's, it's Mr. Kiefer. The Kiefer's. Dixie Chicks won't You're be there, but Mall will. The Dixie and Chicks are not playing. Will, will. Well, it written, let's put it this way. Made. They're the not confirmed. Tomorrow. They're not confirmed. The roof. We did send the invite to the right. Dixie Chicks. They're not confirmed yet. They haven't gotten back to if us. If Natalie Maines shows up, I might, I you might know invite what? her up on stage. I haven't heard a word from Ace of Base yet either. Ace of Base? They saw the they sign. Saw the sign. <laughs> they saw the sign. <laughs> they saw the sign. They it opened their eyes and then they were I haven't gone. heard a peep right. from them. Yeah. yeah. Um, new to the stage. Mall. Really great new, uh, new Backyard band. Rockers haven't played there before. The Backyard Rockers. Yeah, on, on yeah. I mean, break. new to the festival. I got some. Mama Corn. I got a group of really there. young, motivated guys. They're they're a really talented group. They're called Wilted, and they will be playing Saturday around 1.30, 2 p.m. Nice. Good. The um, roof. Awesome. Yeah, the roof's going to be there. Awesome. They'll be on Friday guys. night, and that's not you know, screamo metal. The roof is. Yeah, they're not metal. Or they will be there Friday night. They're yeah. heavy. Right. And they... Uh, well, don't downplay it. I mean, if you like metal, Friday night... Friday's the day. Oh, yeah, that's... You'll get it. You'll like get it. Come Friday. You'll get it. You'll, you you'll will get, get it. it. We will maul you. Mm. And then, Actually, you know, and then you guys have a very, like, oh. very 90s kind of mm. yes. sound. So that's yeah. what I said when I first heard them. If you guys are Grunge sun. fans, you're definitely going to want to see Maul. If you're Led Zeppelin fans, you're going to want to see The Roof, you know? Yeah, right. Something it's for a, everybody. Even, even within the metal, right. the metal right. is multi right. Oh, yeah. Right. So we can say it's metal See, night, that's, that's very but true. Actually, very it's, true. It's, it's a, it's a multi-genre metal. of metal. You're I not going to get bored. You're not going to get bored. You're going to see something of, you know, a little slice of everything from the metal pie. Kirsten Lee says this is going to be her first Route 22, which is and we're excited. And we're excited to have you for your we first time. We are excited time. as well, yes. Like yes, we a are. I concur she with does Mike concur about Wilted. With about Wilted. Thank All right. you, Kirsten. Talented person. young Wilted. lads. Uh, small yeah. music for small minds. Are they playing still? Um, that is that is actually a person, not a band. Yeah, he... I, that I, is I Jason Wyatt. Um, is he going to be he, Yeah, he does a lot of ukulele playing. He, I he love comes ukulele. up with all his own stuff. Uh, very, very intelligent young man. Makes his own whiskey. You guys, uh, you yeah. actually might want to talk to that guy. We need, oh, my dad you need to, Jason you need to look me stuff. up. Let's talk to uh, Jason Feathers here. Right. About, yeah. uh, we'll, get you on the, whiskey we'll get you on the Wednesday Night Whiskey Committee podcast. Um, Matt Watson is watching. Nail Driver. Matt Watson we'll can't wait. Matt Watson will be there. Kicking Matt heads Watson's in. going to be there. Matt Watson will actually have tickets available also. Yes, he so, will. Hey, he will call Matt. Sale. We Should I give his number oh, out on... Oh. Uh, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> August 25th, which is Saturday. Oh, yes, yes. Mayhem in the Mountains is going on. Oh, my God, yeah. Um, that is the brainchild of Matt Watson. Mm-hmm. That is an all-metal event. It's a one-day show. And it's a really good it's time. It's a great show and a great time. Um, nice he to did pop this, him on, Matt. Yeah, thank you, Matt. <laughs> yeah. He did this show two years ago. 
Everybody had a blast. Oh, it was great. Things kind of fell through last year, but it's finally back, and I know that I am stoked to play it. Like, I'm it's, super oh my stoked. god, yeah. it's gonna be great. If you like metal, man, in the metal. Yeah, if you're definitely in the metal. Contact Matt Watson. He'll yeah, look, look for it. Matt Watson. Look for Mayhem in the Mountains. For some people who may have been tuning in late and need a reiteration, could you please say again for Bethany J. Helsel? Uh, what time the music starts? What time the music starts? I think it starts on Friday on at six, days. right? The the music will start on Friday, like five p.m. Uh, it'll run till about two thirty in the morning, uh, and it'll works. start again around twelve and run till about one in the morning. After that, we're going to have an independent film festival, though. So With the work of Bethany J. Helsel. With Bethany J. Helsel. She's going to be showing some independent film and Dave Malika. And if you like acoustic music, typically, at least as Again, far as I know, people are just now tuning in. I know they're, they're finally it winding seems like down we're, the we're, Sunday. Yeah, we're starting um, it. Day passes for Friday night will be $20. Right. Saturday day passes will be thirty dollars. Like you can buy a pre-sale ticket, get in for one day on Saturday. You can buy a pre-sale ticket for thirty dollars and go for all three days. Yeah. Right, right. It, that's it, the way to do it. Yeah. Is buy, I mean, that's buy the way to do it. Because you're even if you're thinking right now, oh yeah, I'm just going to go Friday. Get your pre-sale ticket because of the fact that once you get there, you're not going to want to leave. You're not going to want to leave. Seriously, like that's not. That's just a fact. You know, that's a fact. Um, oh, here's a, here's a nice piece of information. You can leave. You can come back. Oh, I do God, every yeah. year. We give you a wristband. <laughs> if you live 10 miles down the road, you are not stuck in this box. Like, you can get in your car, go right. home, get a shower, feed your dogs. Like, do the things you need to do as a human being and come back later. As long <laughs> as you have your wristband, you're part of the show. You pay to get in. You're there for the weekend. So just make sure you know that, like you're not stuck there on those campgrounds. No, no. Matt Watson confirms he will have tickets available. Fantastic, thank you, Matt. Yes. Any one of the bands involved should have tickets. Yeah. 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 Matt's band, they're awesome. Oh God, yeah. yeah. If if you like excitement, if you, yeah, right, right, right. And Samara and yeah. hand grenade. If you have a heart condition, you may want to roof and black sun. Yeah. Uh, Clockwork, pretty awesome band. Yeah. Pretty awesome Clockwork band. does some pretty good stage antics too. So, and we may have some cowbells and some other crazy things going on. So, last year we had a girl swinging on a big swing and running around. You never know what you're going to see. I'm on a good here. time. I'm on a certain that Sean Bowser will be bringing a cowbell. I'm, mm. It wouldn't be right if you did that. Sure. You guys want to talk about Mama Corn for Pet me? friendly. Uh, it's pet friendly, but you just can't bring them. Right, we <laughs> love them. We love pets. I love pets. I have but couple. insurance I companies don't. Insurance companies don't love pets. Yeah. So We're you really could leave good. your dogs yeah. at home. Like I said, you're allowed to come in, go home, come Listen, back. Every year, I uh, my dog would probably be fine there. He's a very well-behaved dog. Um, he's awesome. You know what, though? I leave my dog at home. I go take care of him. I come back. Um, I'll take know. responsibility for this. I, I love. I my, brought my dog one year, and she howled and cried, and acted like a big crybaby. Keeps like, people up at night. It's yeah. not even really that. Though. <laughs> it's insurance. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. in in the sake of everything, I she don't bring my I don't bring my animal. Um, I go take care of my animal. I come back. I have a great time. That's the way it is. You know. Yeah. Um, it's it's really not us. It's the insurance company. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if I could sell tickets to dogs... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We'd be yeah. millionaires. Yeah. Trust or, me. I would do that. Yes, right. right. Um, Which is an idea for next year. What? A dog fest? Dog pass. Dog pass. It's going to be $70 to $100. Your kid you can drive for free. Next next year, pay for 100 dog. bucks. Bring your dog. Kids are free. <laughs> <laughs> well, dog, right. if you want the dog pass... That'll pay for the extra, extra insurance. For the dog. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, yeah, I think that'll pay for the extra insurance. Check out on, on the, the brink, brink Saturday, Saturday at five. five. That's yeah. right. Yeah, Saturday you guys are playing five Saturday brink. five o'clock. That's no, uh, so Ed Brinkle's band. Ed Brinkle's brink. band. Um, that was recently. She actually uh, plays. I have the CD. Yeah, I have the CD playing shameless. in my car right now. The CD's good job, Kirsten. Yes. Self advertisement. 
Yeah, way to go. Um, Advertise yourselves away. Yeah. Um, we saw them last year. Kirsten was with them last year, I don't believe, but uh, they played their debut awesome. there last year. They did play last yes. year. And it was yeah, one of the break was there year. last year. They did a very Fan nice Fan freaking tastic. Ty Fowler. It's Ty Fowler coming Ty back. Fowler will be there. Yes. Anybody that's been there before, that's, how many anybody that follows been? the page, no, four, no, no. four, three, or three, four, four. four. Ty Fowler will be back. I've had a lot of people ask me. They're like, hey, is the kid coming back? The young guy. Is the, the kid coming back? The, kid the kid's coming, coming back. back. The kid's coming back. He's yes. a guitar shredder. Oh, the kid's amazing. I mean, the kid's amazing. We love you, Ty. Yeah. I hate his him. neighbor is, is, his aunt is my neighbor. Yeah, yeah. He's, Ty Fowler will be coming back. He will be performing with the Black Snakes. Fantastic. Um, on Saturday afternoon. He'll be shredding it up. Um, the kid's even... I can attest to the fact that, oh, the kid's even better than he was last year. You know, I mean, I hate him. You know, I knew he's when he, that good. You know, I knew when he walked in my garage and played the entire solo for uh, "Comfortably Numb." Yeah, with yeah. the Flawlessly. radio. Right, right. Like right. he played along with the album. Right, right. Perfectly. Yeah. I was like, he's pretty good. He's all right. Yeah, he's okay. How now the kid now? will be back. I think. He's Probably about 14 or 15 now. I think he's 15. Yeah. He's, 15. he's getting up there. Yeah, he's You're going to want to catch him now because he's going to be really expensive to see later. <laughs> he, you know what? That's a very good point. <laughs> yeah, Beth like, thinks he's awesome too. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, come see Ty now before you can't afford to see him later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Same with Sharky. Yeah. Same with Sharky. Same with Sharky. I think I saw something else about Sharky on here somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know. Lots of Sharky's like really. <laughs> if you've Sharky's never seen Sharky, commodity. you owe it to yourself to come out just to see Sharky. I mean, I. You know, I'm not trying to brag here. I hope you guys <laughs> there see is. this, but. Sharky. You gotta right. love the guy. Right. You do gotta love the guy. We are gonna need a bigger boat. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, Cody. Can't Cody Kensinger. Cody he's Kensinger never, will be it. He's never drank. No. I think Cody's I had think 151 Cody's before, maybe once. Maybe Cody before. doesn't drink, does he? Yeah. Um. <laughs> That's a good question. Assault method Cody in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Kennedy wants to know if he can have your shirt, Mike. I don't know if you can have Mike's shirt. Sharky will have fresh merchandise on sale. Sharky has been guaranteed vending rights. Yep, he's going to be vending. That you was part of his contract. Own Elvis Chicken Sharky T-shirt. That was honestly, I'd give you my shirt, but you don't want to see my chest. That right was now. honestly in his contract. He needed certain M&Ms removed and the rights to vend his own. He's a true choice. rock star. I he mean, is. the guy knows what he he's is. doing. He is. he is. When you can set up a rider like that. He, no, so, seriously, in all honesty, though. He's a self-promoting. He's wild. fantastic, man. He really is. I mean, I could no way ever do what what Tom does. I mean, he's he's got something special to him. He really does. I couldn't do it. We love you, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good <laughs> cancer says I, I do. do. He <laughs> drinks one fifty one. Yeah, I've I've seen. How it. many yeah. some ex Samara yeah. members can we get there? <laughs> Well, we'd have to ask Rug Rog. We'd why have to uh, we'd ask Rug. I, I don't think. know if you're around Rug to answer this question, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. how many members has Samara had? I mean, yeah, yeah. That's a, a good I question might, in itself, might, right there. I might see. I mean, I don't. You know, I don't know if it could actually. Bob might be there. Happen, but I might try to join Samara before the show, and mm -hmm. then. You know, quit right before so I can be there. That's so awesome. you can be part of the X yeah. Jeff Colbert, we've yeah, talked about this. We have a special this. campsite yeah. set aside for X Samara members. Right. Yeah, there is X Samara <laughs> camping. Right. Um, I've tried, Jeff. Uh oh. X. Uh, it says Samara. It, will there be an assault? Cody's in. Not, we're not doing Cody's this. Like, Cody listen, says guys, he's in. guys, guys. We're, Cody's we're, in. we're doing this video. It's for the, we're going off the Route top. 22 Festival. Yeah, um, this, this could be the biggest topic. Yeah, I mean, not. Cody's always in. This is uh, we've Mike tried to Cody restart assault now. method. <laughs> this will be the seventh attempt. Yeah, yeah. This Lucky video seven. is for the Route 22 Festival. <laughs> I'm just going to go gonna separate on the record this, and say and we'll make a separate video for the assault method. Well, I'm going to go on record on this video and say that I'm I'm pushing for the assault method. I think it would suck business, say this. man. I think it'd be a hell of a kickstart. If there's an assault method reunion, Black Sun will be there. We will right. open. Right. Yeah, for free. Yeah. For free. There you go. We'll Easy killer. 
You should free, free, not me. Easy. I would do it. <laughs> he'll do it for free. I do. And then it he'll give me five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> easy. <laughs> oh, what else? Easy killer. On? Hey, come on, man. Yeah. Uh, so, um, any other questions about Route 22? We're all available. We'll remain available for the next month. Obviously, this video, right? It's live right now. Um, that is at. Whatever, Whatever time, time of night now. on Sunday evening. There's no clocks. Here. Um, it will be reposted. It's going to be shared. Right. You're going to hear this after you watch 30 minutes of us rambling. So right. that's not. <laughs> that's just not going to happen. Let's face it, folks. I, I would say to reiterate, though, if you've hung in this long and your question hasn't been answered, please either contact the Facebook, contact Mike, contact the Facebook page, contact even Todd Any and I, of us, and we yeah. will make sure that your question gets answered. Um, if you need tickets, we will find you. We will make sure you get your ticket. You if know? you if you want to buy them online, I mean, you're, you're watching the video, so you're already following right. Route 22. If you're already online, like, you, stay you know online where to get it. the tickets. Um, yeah. You can message that page directly, and one of the three of us, we're all admins, we will get back to you. Right, right, um, right. Yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are liking this video. Yeah, We're ready cool. to go. I hope you guys are ready to go. Route 22 is going to be special this year. It's going to be bigger than it was last year. It is. And I'm, the year before, I'm uh, actually it's going to grow every year. It I'm is. actually pretty stoked about the fact that this year we're focusing a little more on some of the local talent. Yeah, I am too. It's going to be great. Um, there's a crap ton of local talent. Yes. And uh, sometimes that gets you know pushed lost. aside and yes. washed and lost. And this year, it's all going to be on display. If you have any kind of interest or pride in your area to see what's actually out there, come out and see it because if you don't know what this area has to offer musically, you are going to be surprised. Well, that's, you know, a really good thing. I mean, a lot of artists. Yeah. I don't want to skew the conversation here, but we've got people in the area, they'll bring somebody in from nine hours away, they'll get the best local support they can get, pay the band from nine hours away, and then say thanks for bringing the crowd to the local support. Yeah. And this show is for the local support. This show is like for this the local is for support. us. So. This is for all, this is guys. all the local support. The yeah. take one for yeah. the yeah. national yeah. team. Yeah. 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 yeah and, you, and you know, I, we're gonna nobody, have it, it's a messed up formula, you know, and I it's know. not reality not is easy. what it is. Though. Not many people begrudge that though because we just want to see it stay healthy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what this is about. Williamsburg beverage. Once again. I'm reading. I can read. And Cody says, "I'm digging how big this event has become." Thanks for all of your hard work, guys. Hey, it's everyone who we comes. We're working for you, Cody. Every, yeah, 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 but it's, it it's everybody guys. who comes, though. Yeah, yeah. everybody that comes. You supporting Cody? Got, you fucking it played it, it before. I mean, yeah. you yeah. support it, man. Yeah. You're there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Tickets are available at Williamsburg Beverage Company, also. They are here. We we covered that at minute we did, seventeen, Tracy. We, did, yeah. we, did we don't know where you were on that one. We Recap real that. fast. It's a family 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 friendly event. And we'll have, bring your own beer. We need like bring your three kids. More beers. Keep yeah. an eye on them. We, we can't have, babysit them. We're gonna don't bring the dog. Party. Bring we'll your have, cat. We'll have bring your gerbil. Samples. Don't Can bring you your gerbil. Out Biological samples are for sale. <laughs> <laughs> Clockwick will be at the gate, sending them out during their set. I think Josh That's is going to throw scary. stuff at, at the at the audience. <laughs> Cody says you're wrong. <laughs> but yeah. uh, it's going to be a great time. If you all have any questions at all, we're usually available. And as you can tell, we're pretty friendly. We're pretty available. Yeah. We like answering questions. It's just questions. real, man. We're just real people having a real event. Yes. Having a real good time. Having we want you guys to have a good time is, with us. This Come event is not... It's not sponsored by Pepsi. It's not sponsored yeah. by uh, no, no. First it's National sponsored. Bank. It's, it's sponsored it's by, ran love by of local fucking music. local it's, people. It's not pretentious. The people who show up are not pretentious. It's a real event for real people having a real good time. You know, one of the highlight or one of the things that people say about the event that they like the most is they're left alone. Yeah. 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 yeah, nobody bothers you. You're Do not you followed around all day by dudes with yellow vests. Absolutely I mean, not. I probably yeah. shouldn't advertise that. Um, no, you can come have this is kind of a libertarian of type of atmosphere. Yeah. Be responsible for yourself. Right. Have respect for other people that are there, and right. do what you like. 
Yeah. Um, We're not going to encringe on your your right to have. A good there time. is no security, but believe me, you are protected. You are protected. I've got people Absolutely. in and around the area. Yeah. I might be sitting with one or two right now. You'll be that secure. are looking out for all of you. You'll be secure and you'll be safe. Don't be an a hole. You'll be fine. Yeah, you know, you'll be fine. We've yep. never had to throw anybody out. We've never had any fights. No. Nothing no, like it that. is a it is a really remarkably safe atmosphere considering, you know, everything involved. As big I, as I, it is, with as many people that get involved, it's amazing that that many people can be in one place and have so much fun without issues, any yeah. issues at all. It's about people it's come out. And it's they, just good people having. They a good come time. out and they want to have fun. You know, yeah. I mean, yep. people don't come out to make trouble. Pe- people come out to have fun. You know, yeah. and that's been the hallmark of this festival. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was its inception, and it, and continue. it continues, man. It continues. And every year the crowd grows, you know. Last year we had a hurricane come through. We sure that did. That was kind of shitty. <laughs> that was I was there. Did that hurt the numbers? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But yeah. still a great year. But you know what? We had as much we fun still as ever. Yeah. Oh, it was... I'm not going to say it was year fun was, Last year was one of my hit, favorite years. Was, the hurricane wasn't fun, but you know what? Everybody who comes out... Makes it a good time. We yes. make the best of whatever it, happens. Yeah, yep. put its own little personal imprint on the year. Yep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think. Uh, what do you guys think, man? You think I think, I think our video is long enough. I think we've covered everything. I think most people probably don't want to even watch this long. So. No. Starts yeah. at five o'clock on you Friday. Guys and give them on one minute of awkward silence until we turn. Oh, off. let's yeah. just look at the ceiling. Right. We're waiting for questions. Ask me something. No new questions. I guess we covered it all. No. Route 22, September right. 7th through the 9th. Right. Be there. Lincoln Caverns Campground. Right. Bye, everybody.